Apple just announced a brand new Apple Pencil, and this thing is a bit weird. It has some really cool features, and overall, not what we were expecting, but in this video, I will tell you everything that you need to know. Using just a quiet press release early in the morning and without a launch of a new iPad, Apple released the Apple Pencil 3, or maybe Apple Pencil 2023, or maybe just Apple Pencil USB-C. Now, the interesting thing is that right out of the get-go, you see value and choice on their headline. And looking at the Apple Pencil, it looks pretty much the same as the Apple Pencil 2 that we have had for years. But on the inside, there are quite a few differences. Now looking at the tip, it looks basically the same like the Apple Pencil 2, and we had rumors of a magnetic replaceable tip coming out that might have different options for different people, but it looks the same. And then on the back end, we have a little kind of slit or cut. And right away, Apple's once again pointing out that this one is more affordable and it is bringing new choices. Now with that affordability, it's cool to see that they're still saying it has the same pixel perfect accuracy, low latency, and tilt sensitivity, and it's an ideal tool to do a lot of things like taking notes, drawing, things like that. We have the same matte finish that I really like compared to the original Apple Pencil's glossy finish and that flat side so that it can magnetically attach to most of the newer iPads. This thing also works well with all iPads that have a USB Type-C for. So yes, even with the new low-end iPad 10 that has that redesign, it works great for that. But also, even with 12.9 inch iPad Pros that cost a lot of money, it's also gonna work great. So you don't have to spend 130 bucks. Now, the interesting thing is that even though this does magnetically attach, it will not charge with the magnetic connection like you get with the Apple Pencil 2. Looking at this next image, you can see that USB Type-C port right there. And I have to say, this looks super cool, that nice shiny uh, metallic finish on the inside. And that cap right there where it says Apple Pencil, well, it just slides out and stays there. Whereas the original Apple Pencil, that cap came off and so many people would lose it and you just have a lightning port that can easily break sticking out right there. I mean, we lost our cap and this thing just stays here in the office. So I think this is a really smart design. And with that USB-C connection, you can use that to charge up the Apple Pencil and you also use it to pair it. And that is great. I really wish they launched this thing when they launched the iPad 10 refresh because with that, you had to use a lightning to USB C cable and then you needed to use a little adapter which if you would buy that pencil again it comes in the box but most people who already have one you'd have to go out and buy that adapter separately which is a pain and then you would lose it um, so that was just a horrible design I don't know why they didn't come out with this new one earlier so now any USB-C cable you slide up that cap it stays there you plug it in and you could charge it up now unfortunately this thing is not as good in some ways as the Apple Pencil 2 because when you do magnetically attach it even to an iPad Pro, it will not pair to the iPad. So it just uses that magnet to hold it into place, but you don't get any pairing and you don't get any charging as well. So if you have a couple different iPads, you will have to take out a USB-C cable, plug the thing in just to pair up, unplug it, and then moving to another iPad, you're gonna have to do the same thing. Instead of just setting it down on your iPad and switching between them, and it just automatically pairs. Now it does have one magnetic smart function, and that is when you do set it on top, it will know that you're not using it, and then it will go into sleep mode instead of being active. Now, I don't know how much battery that saves compared to just setting it down onto the table, and if it's worth constantly putting it on top, but it's nice that at least it's doing something, even though you don't get charging or pairing. Now, Apple also put out this little comparison sheet right here, which is cool, but first I wanna mention the price tag of this new Apple Pencil 
in 2023. And the cool thing is that instead of costing $129 for the Apple Pencil 2 or $99 for the original Apple Pencil, and it seems like they are still going to be selling that one because there are still iPads that have lightning. People are still gonna buy those for a while. This one comes in at $79. So by far the cheapest, $20 cheaper, and you get the magnetic connection, the better port, and a little bit more functionality. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at this chart, all three of the iPads have pixel perfect precision, very low latency, and that is a great thing. Apple pencils are awesome at this comparing to other tablets with good um, styluses. They all have tilt sensitivity, so if you're drawing or doing something, you're gonna have a different, um, with a different angle, you're gonna have a different effect. And as far as pressure sensitivity, this kind of sucks because Apple's saying that with the new USB-C Apple Pencil, you do not get that at all. <laughs> so the first gen Apple Pencil that has been out for, I don't know how long, eight years now, a very long time, um, that has pressure sensitivity, but you do not get it. And that is a weird thing. I would rather have maybe less smart features um, I don't know, maybe cutting it down to a smaller design, but have pressure sensitivity, then not have that. So they're still gonna try to get people to buy the Apple Pencil 2, especially if you're more serious about using it and for drawing. Now, it can magnetically attach, which the original Apple Pencil does not, and it does not have that wireless pairing in charging. Only the Apple Pencil 2 gets that. Now, if you have an iPad Pro, it will support hover, if you have um, one of the newer ones um, that have that feature built in. So that is pretty cool. It means it does have a little sensor or something built into this where the original it doesn't. But unfortunately, it does not have the sensor for the double tap to change tools back and forth, like going to an eraser, erasing something, going back to um, your marker or your pencil to be able to draw. And lastly, you do not get free engraving on this thing like you do if you spend another 50 bucks on top of that. So this is very interesting. The Apple is bringing out um, a cheaper option while maintaining the other ones. I kind of wish that maybe they would just replace the original one um, instead of keeping it around or at least giving this the pressure sensitivity and maybe keeping it at 99 bucks instead of making it 79 with the cool newer design and some of the new things like magnetic attachment but not giving you pressure sensitivity. But I wanna hear your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe to see more great videos. Check out one of those videos right over there. This is the Max and I'll see you in the next one.